Let's get to an update on the story we've been following out of Southeast DC. We're revisiting the gas explosion that crumbled a convenience store and displaced the next door daycare center. A month later, that daycare is still searching for a new home and needs your help. Jess Arnold caught up with the owner and she joins us now in the studio. Jess, we understand that they are in a temporary location for now. Yeah, the owner said they have about three months though to find a new permanent location and she said they still need to raise about three times as much money as they have in that GoFundMe to be able to afford the down payment and the re renovations that they're going to need to outfit this new space for a daycare and bring it up to code. Now a quick refresher on what happened about a month ago. It was on January 18th. A gas leak caused an explosion that you see right there that leveled a convenience store and seemingly irreparably damaged the neighboring daycare. That's the video from inside that daycare center, Baby Einstein Child Development Center. Now, all of the kids and staff had made it out of the daycare before the explosion. But ever since, the owner has been looking for a new home for her staff and the 32 kids they were serving at the time. She said when they moved to that temporary location, they had to reduce that number to about 20 and part ways with some of the families because it can't handle that larger amount. She's hoping to bring them back once they do find that new permanent location. Now, over a month later, she still hasn't even been able to go inside that old building to see if anything is salvageable. She says she appreciates that local businesses and community leaders have been helping her out and fundraising, but she is still looking to triple that money, as I mentioned, that the GoFundMe has raised. She said they're going to need it to make sure that the new space is suitable for a daycare. I want to make sure we continue to serve our community. This is a community based business. Um, we serve the people in the community. We've served uh, uh, members that work in the community. And we want to make sure we stay in position as needed. Children need quality child care. All right, we're showing you the GoFundMe here behind me. Right now it is sitting at right under $70,000, which is a sizable amount of money, but she is looking to raise $250,000 to cover everything I mentioned. We're going to put that online for you on WUSA9.com. Guys. All right, Jess, let's hope they can reach that goal. Thank you.